one of the important local issues here in Madison has to do with the future of South Dakota Highway 34. Yeah, the city is backing a plan that would make that highway a full four lanes from Madison East to Interstate 29. We're talking 14 miles of roadway here that would have to get done. And lawmakers in both here and Washington are being lobbied about this specific issue. So how much of a difference can there really be between a two-lane highway and a four-lane highway? You have to watch the other towns in South Dakota. For more than a decade, John Goldman has been part of a movement trying to get all of Highway 34 between Madison and I-29 expanded to four lanes for reasons that involve both public safety and economic profit. Goldman says the difference a four lane can make is easy to see when you compare Madison to a city like Brookings. They had the same population. They both had a university. They both had a railroad. They were both the county seat. Look what happened to Brookings when they got a four-lane road into that city, they just exploded. And Goldman also has research that shows other existing four lanes have less traffic than the two-lane highway that connects Madison to Interstate 29. Traffic on 34 east of Madison is greater than the four-lane between Pier and I-20 or I-90, and it's also greater than the four-lane between Aberdeen and I-29. Goldman says a four-lane provides more room for traffic flow, which could mean fewer accidents. He also says a study commissioned years ago showed that for every dollar spent on highway construction, the return to the Madison economy would be more than four dollars. But to date, a project to make Highway 34 four lanes has not happened. But Goldman says he's holding out hope that it will. Highways are built out of two things, 10% concrete and 90% politics.